Hi there. Today I'm in Schoology to talk to you about getting assignments to individual students or away from individual students. Schoology allows us three separate and unique opportunities to individually or to small groups assign assignments, discussions, and quizzes. Anything that needs some kind of student submission. The first one is using the individually assign feature. So I'm in my sandbox course and I will toggle to assignments. I've created an assignment here. I will edit that. I can alternatively do this right when I'm creating the assignment. You see this is the assignment creation pane. In the advanced options at the bottom, I see individually assign. Once I click that, I can start typing the name of any learner that has been added already to this course. And I can go ahead and add that learner. And now only they will be able to see that this assignment exists. It's as if it doesn't exist to anybody else. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. So that's the very first option, going to edit, uh, options, individually assign, edit, options, individually assign, and then assigning that to those individuals. Another second option that we have in conjunction with individually assign is to go to the member section once I've added my learners in, use the organize grading groups found in the right underneath the search. So I'll add a grading group. You can see here I've added a, n a number of uh, test grading groups already. I can add as many as I like. I'll add a grading group here um, called new grading group. Give it a name. Go ahead and check off any learners that I need to be added to that grading group. Hit create grading group and you'll see here is my new grading group. I can hit this gear and edit to add or take away learners from that group at any time. Now that I've created the grading group, when I go to the materials section, instead of having to type Ryan Donnelly and test student into that individually assigned, I can simply start typing new grading group and that grading group will pop up. This will save me a lot of time in the long run with having to type multiple names, especially if I know that I'm going to have to assign something to multiple uh, learners over and over again throughout the semester or year. Creating that grading group will end up saving me uh, a number of keystrokes. So creating the grading group, individually assign, and then add it to the grading group. Again, works just like individually assigned. Now only those learners in this new grading group see that this assignment exists. As it, it is as if it does not exist to anyone outside of this grading group. So that is option two. Option one, use individually assigned, type in the learner's name. Option two, go to members, create a grading group, then in individually assign, type the name of that grading group. There is a third option. When you create your course, you can use what are called linked sections. Here I have a number of access codes and I've created what are called linked sections. If you have multiple periods in the same course, you've already created linked sections. For example, you could use these link sections a little differently than period one, period two, period three materials. You could have an on level, above level, below level section. And when you create your materials, for example, this page, the default is that that material goes to all three sections. As you see here, availability, all sections. Well, what I can do is simply give access to only section one, my on level, and section two, my above level. They need something more advanced, so I'll create something different for them, and I'll assign that to that section. So then if I save this change, 
only section one now has access to this page. I can see that by give me a second to refresh. Doesn't look like it does. Let me take that away. I apologize. Now you can see here that only one section has access to this. If I hover over, it will tell me that only section one has access. Whereas things going to both my sections, if I hover over, it'll say all sections. And you can see here it says two sections. To get learners into the different sections, I give this access code to section one. I give this access code to section two. You can rename those sections just know that those section names do appear to the students, so you don't want to call those on level, above level, below level. When I have assignment submissions to something like an assignment, now those will be split up into my different sections. So here I am looking at my um, assignment submissions for this Moodle test lesson. Here I see section one, and my list of submissions would be below that. I can also toggle to section two. My list of submissions would be below that. So it still allows me to maintain one course and assign individually uh, what needs to be assigned individually to different groups of learners. I just simply have click options now instead of the typing options. So again, when I create the course, I create the linked sections, and then when I create the artifact, I have to choose to take away from all sections and then simply customize by choosing the section or sections that this particular assignment, test or quiz, discussion needs to go to. I hope that you found this tutorial on individually or small group assigning in Schoology helpful. And as always, you can follow up with questions. And thanks for watching.